Start list of the next race to come up, the final B of the lightweight men's double skulls. Poland, Greece, Portugal, France, Norway and Canada lining up at the start. And here we have the lineup, Mariusz Stanchuk and Milos Jankowski for Poland. Well, Robert Such, the Olympic champion of 2000 and 2004, was supposed to race here. He got ill earlier this week after the heat had to be replaced by Milos Jankowski from the quad that then could not continue racing. Lane 2 for Greece, Lane 3 Portugal and uh, here we have Pedro Fraga, Nuno Mendes, Olympic, oh no sorry, European uh, medal winners in this class, seventh place for them at Lucerne. The lineup for France in Lane 4 is Jérémy Assou, uh, Frédéric Dufour, tw uh, 13 years in age uh, different, so uh, the younger athlete uh, Jérémy Assou uh, also the under 23 world champion in the single just a few weeks ago then it's lane 5 for Norway Ringstad and Strandley and finally Canada boating the, the long time double Douglas Vandor on power position and Cameron Sylvester uh, also good video artist as we have seen on Vimeo inside the Olympic dream is his video watch that and you really get motivated to get training again even if you're not Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian has been using it for motivation for the Masters Worlds, <laughs> which are next weekend. In po at Poznan in Poland. So the Masters Rowers, uh, once you're out of uh, serious competition, go on training maybe three to four, four times a week, maybe five, and then you can race over 1,000 meter. But here we are with 2,000 meter, the final P of the lightweight men's double skulls. Very slow start from Norway, that's why they hang back immediately, but uh, they can come back on the middle section, but good start from our other five crews. I think that uh, being a, a, a Lucerne ma uh, finalist and World Championship finalist last year, it must be disappointing for Douglas Vandor and Cameron Sylvester of Canada to be racing in this B final, but of course also they want to ensure their long-term goal and uh, be able to race at the uh, Olympic Games next year at London. And I think it's another um, five places out of this B final that will qualify the nations for the Olympic Games. Yeah, and their uh, sixth place finish in semi final A, I think, is potentially deceptive because, again, and if we look at the last race with Canada in an outside lane uh, and they won. So I think it's certainly Olympic qualification is foremost in everybody's minds. And right now, looking at Canada, that Canada, that I would say might have been the strategy because they have just by a few centimeters the early lead in this first 500 meters. That's uh, Nuno Mendes for Portugal. Portugal was also hosting the European Championships last year. Canada and uh, France, the early leaders here. Frédéric Dufour, 35 years old, and the French lineup finished sixth at the Lucerne World Cup, was in the final there. So a little bit of a setback here for the French, but uh, nonetheless, also they are on their way on the mission to London and it's not much to choose between Canada, France and also Greece. Don't uh, forget the, the Greeks, the uh, um, under-23 world champions of last year. It's uh, Eleftherios Consolas Panagiotis Machdanis. Hey, here, look at uh, Doug Vander from the Canadian double. And these guys decided they had to give it another go because uh, Unfortunately for them at the uh, Olympics, there was this virus going around and Vander was uh, one of the guys who got it and he made it through the semi, but he could not continue in the race. And they decided after that, you know, they had to have uh, another shot for London. So that's ju just another four years then. Yeah. I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a decision to, ba to, to uh, make in your life to uh, sort of go on another four years training. Um, and he's 37 years old, too, so, you know, that's the other thing. But I think, you know, you have that dream in front of you, and when it's snatched away at the final, you know, moments, um, you can be even more passionate about the pursuit in the next round. So here we have the battle between Greece and Canada and also France for first place in this B final. 7 to 12 overall in the world ranking. This will be... But uh, here we are with the aggressive Canadians wanting to uh, ensure a first place earlier, early in this race. Not leave it too long, not leave it too late. Halfway mark coming up. 
and it's indeed the Greek that might have edged ahead or is it the Canadians? It's just a um, half a meter or so for Canada ahead of Greece and then it's France in third place. Greece is under stroke in Canada by two full beats. Canada 37 plus for stroke rate and the Greeks at about 35 and a half and it looks very smooth and controlled. Yes, always the glance across the field. He's got to look all the way across to lane six to see the Canadians and he perceives them as the biggest threat. That's Eleftherios Consolas, the bow man. And he's going to be talking to that stroke man too to keep him posted on exactly what is going on here. Another look at Canada. This aggressive rating from the very start but the key now, now and it's higher, they're up to 40 in the third 500, but the face is looking very calm, like they are still well within themselves. Let's see. Well, the, rate, uh, the stroke rate taken by the GPS device, which you can see sitting just behind the bow number, the new system uh, brought into place by FISA this year. The canvas now for, can, uh, for Canada ahead of Greece, and then half a canvas down sit the French, but uh, there's another battle going on for fifth and sixth place between uh, Poland and Portugal here, um, who hang back at the back of the field. This is the French, uh, this is the Norway, Norwegian double also there. Pol um, um, Norway also uh, in uh, the fight there between uh, Poland and Portugal. So, uh, yeah, the back of the field now, Poland and uh, Norway indeed. It's Ringstad and Strandli that, that try to fight off the challenge from Jankowski and Stanczyk of Poland. And they're giving us that glimpse of France because they're also right in it now with Canada and the Greeks as they cross the 1500 meter mark. And if that French boat is anything like a lot of the other French boats, we should be ready for a potential launch pad <laughs> kind of sprint in the final uh, 400 meters. This is the very solid rhythm set by Consolas and Magdalens for Greece. You can see their bow number two coming up uh, on the left side of your picture. Bow number four belongs to France and then this bow number six for Canada. This is just a canvas separating all three crews. Uh, then it's fourth place now. F uh, good tactics applied by Pedro Fraga, Nuno Mendes for Portugal. And then it's, uh, oh, and then it's uh, the Norwegians uh, having separated themselves from Poland. Poland hanging back a little bit at the last mark. At the 1500 meter mark, we come to the last 200 meters of this race. And looking at the face here of Cam Sylvester, I mean, just so calm. And they're building the stroke rates, and their catches still look really, really good. And that's key. If you can keep that sharpness on the front end, it's a sign of how much energy you have left because it's how well you can continue to connect as you build the rate. They look good. They look good, but they have to fight off the chance from the French now, sprinting strongly down to the line, the last 10 strokes. But it's five crews within half a length. It's still Canada holding on to a lead, but it's now the French to come through, and French take the seventh, uh, take the lead here. French ahead of Greece. France now on their way to a win here in the final B. France winning that ahead of Greece. Then it was indeed Norway who finished third in this the B final ahead of uh, either the Canadians or the Portuguese. That was too close to call from our p point. Definitely the Polish double was in sixth place. Delighted with their performance, but all energy spent. That's Jeremy Azou, uh, the reigning world under 23 champion in the single scar to the right, and Frédéric Dufour for France on the left. Confirmation of that result, the final B of the Lava Men's Double Skull won by France, just ahead of Greece, and then Norway, Portugal, Canada, and uh, Poland. So the Canadians probably uh, didn't think 200 meters to go that they wouldn't end up fifth, would they? <laughs> 